Rush Limbaugh never fails when it comes to pushing anti-science idiotic takes. Um, it's tough competition, but this one might be his dumbest yet. So it's it's really it's 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 a fascinating case study to me, uh, and it's 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 worrisome and it's troublesome. And then the other side of it is. Through all of this, I've never had any doubt we're going to come out of it. I've never had any doubt we're going to come out of it stronger and we're going to come out of it healthy. And I think it's imperative that we have somebody like Donald Trump who is outside the establishment expert class who has a history of solving problems to actually lead the country through this. You know, we've talked about the deep state all these years since Trump was elected, the Trump-Russia collusion, the FBI. Well, the deep state extends very deeply. And the American people did not elect a bunch of health experts that we don't know. We didn't elect a president to defer to a bunch of health experts that we don't know. Now, how do we know they're even health experts? Well, they wear white lab coats, and they've been in the job for a while, and they're at the CDC, and they're at the NIH, and they're... A well, yeah, they've been there and they are there, but has there been any job assessment for them? They're just assumed to be the best because they're in government, but uh, I, these are all kinds of things that I have, I have been, I've been questioning. And I've been watching people routinely accept whatever the authorities say. Yeah, uh, they don't come more anti-establishment than me. They just don't. I'm as anti-establishment as it gets. And I absolutely trust the scientists and the doctors. Because when it comes to science and when it comes to medicine, you're dealing with an actual meritocracy. You know how you become a world-renowned doctor? Being a really damn good doctor. You know how you become a world-renowned scientist? Being a really damn good scientist. If there was ever, there's a few remaining bastions of meritocracy in this world that we live in. One of them is actually sports. It's purest meritocracy. You know, you go out there, you all, everybody starts at zero, and whoever wins, wins. Go. But also, science and medicine. Yeah, they're health experts because they are experts on health. <laughs> so there's not, like, he's arguing health experts are part of the deep state. Based on what? Based on what? Well, a lot of them worked under Democratic administrations. Yeah, and they also worked under Republican administrations. Like, the, the level of conspiracy thinking that gets you to this point, where you think that, you know, health experts are part of the deep state and they're nefarious, like, what do you think is actually happening, Rush? Are the health experts, because he might actually believe this, the health experts are giving Trump bad advice on purpose so that Trump crashes the economy, and then loses re-election. I think that Rush really thinks that that's what they're doing. That they're nefarious, deep state people just trying to take Trump down however they can, and they've infiltrated, and they're getting him to make bad decisions on purpose, which will hurt his re-election chances. You know, I'm a big believer in Occam's razor, which just means that the simplest explanation is usually correct. And the simplest explanation when it comes to health experts in the government is that they're health experts. So, and again, this is coming from, everybody knows, nobody can question my anti-establishment credentials. I'm as anti-establishment as they come. But here we have one of the remaining areas where you want the elite. You want an elite doctor to be working on you. You know, uh, financial elites, that's not a meritocracy at all. At all. Uh, but when it comes to health, yes, there's a real meritocracy um now add this to his long list of anti-science takes i mean this is a guy who's denied climate change repeatedly he doesn't even believe in evolution he's denied evolution um if i'm not mistaken he oh yes he's a big bang denier and you know what his argument was i'm not kidding about this were they there He asks if the scientists were there during the Big Bang. How do they know? They weren't even there, bro. 
I mean, this is literally like a debate you have with your buddies in like ninth grade. You're all a bunch of idiots and you're talking about stuff and it's like, well, the Big Bang, the way that works, how do you know, bro? Were you there? <laughs> this, is, this is what he does. He's denied that. He's, he thinks hurricane warnings are a hoax. He thinks they're a hoax. He's spoken about that multiple times. So this is who we're dealing with. And by the way, Rush is a is in the group of people who are likely to be killed by the coronavirus because he has lung cancer and he's getting treatment. So his immune system's down. And it, we know coronavirus impacts the lungs. So if he were to get coronavirus, he could definitely die. He's got late stage cancer and the coronavirus attacks the lungs. Come on, man. Don't like don't play around with this. Don't be dumb. Um, and the final thing I'll say is, he, you know, he talks about you got to question authority in there. Like, that's his whole point. <laughs> got to question the authority, guys. Come on. But Rush, your entire career has been to bend the knee to authority. That's your whole career. Rush Limbaugh's entire career can be summed up like this. He's a petty, sycophantic authoritarian who swallows whole Republican propaganda and then pushes it out there himself. His whole shtick is Republicans good, Democrats bad. Nobody is more of an authoritarian. Nobody is more of a follower of conventional wisdom than you, Rush. He really does bend the knee to Republican orthodoxy all the time, and now he's acting like, me, bro, I'm an, I'm an anti-establishment outsider. That's what I am. Or maybe you're just a dumbass. You ever thought of that? Because I'm pretty sure you're that. 